He mentioned that you have a two and a half year old son who ate an almond and then he threw up and you're wondering if maybe that happened because he's allergic. Although you did also mention that he's had almonds in the past and he's done just fine. Because of that, the fact that he's had al almonds in the past and done just fine, allergies are not the most likely explanation. However, it is possible. I recommend talking with your pediatrician again before giving him almonds again and they can decide if allergy testing is necessary or if the reaction wasn't severe enough, if they feel like it would be okay to introduce it in small amounts and see what happens again in the future. Reactions to an allergy can vary from mild to severe. Um, very common symptoms are hives, itching, swelling, um, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, those sorts of things that upset your stomach. And sometimes it can be so severe that a person stops breathing. Some of the most common food allergies include cow's milk, eggs, wheat, peanuts and other nuts that come from trees, soy and fish and shellfish. So nuts are definitely in that category. If it's not due to a food allergy, other possible explanations can include food poisoning or side effects from medication. Um, if you've noticed that your child gets a rash after they've eaten something, then sometimes it's just skin irritation from the use of new products or the clothes they're wearing. And um, a child might get diarrhea for many different reasons. Sometimes they can get it from just drinking too much fruit juice. It could be as simple as that. Sometimes, of course, they, they catch bugs and those types of things that cause them to have st an upset stomach and diarrhea. So um, it's always good to consider allergies because, of course, you don't want to keep reintroducing them to having these terrible symptoms if it can be avoided. So again, if you have any suspicions that your child has an allergy, talk with your pediatrician and after asking you more specific questions, they can decide if testing is necessary and if your child does indeed have an allergy. If you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.